Welcome to Comedy Global. I'm Anjana and let's know why Pakistan launched airstrikes on Afghanistan recently. Though authorities in Islamabad have not verified it, the military action is thought to be in retribution for the killings of seven Pakistani soldiers in the North Waziristan province of Khyber Pakhtunkhwa near the Afghan border. The executions were carried out by militants based in eastern Afghanistan. Members of the Tehreek-e Taliban Pakistan or TTP or Pakistani Taliban, a banned terrorist organization created in 2007 by Baitullah Masood, a high-profile jihadi commander, are suspected of carrying out the killings. Its members and supporters are mostly from the Pashtun tribal districts of northwestern Pakistan, especially north and south Waziristan. What do you think TTP's main objectives are? According to a research by the US Institute of Peace, the TTP's main goals are to establish Sharia rule, combat US and NATO soldiers in Afghanistan and engage in jihad against the Pakistan army. The TTP is now solely focused on establishing Sharia and battling the Pakistan army with US and NATO forces having left the region and Taliban in control. The seizure of Karachi International Airport in 2014 and the massacre of 150 people, the most of whom were students at the Army Public School in Peshawar, were two of their most daring actions. TTP suicide bombers assaulted the famous All Saints Church in Peshawar last year, killing at least 120 people. What is the relation between Pakistani Taliban and Afghan Taliban? A senior member of the Pakistani army has previously been quoted as saying that there are two sides of the same coin. The Pakistani Taliban are reported to aid Afghan Taliban with men and logistical support. It had also trained and dispatched hundreds of suicide bombers across the border from tribal areas. As the Afghan Taliban grabbed control over the country last year, hundreds of TTP militants were released from prisons. The TTP also had close ties to Al Qaeda and the Haqqani network, an Afghanistan Taliban affiliate. Now, what was the reaction of Afghan Taliban to the airstrikes? The airstrikes were met with fierce opposition by Taliban officials who summoned Pakistan's envoy in Kabul and presented him with a diplomatic memorandum. The Islamic Emirate of Afghanistan strongly condemns Pakistan's attacks on refugees in Khost and Kunar. The IEA calls on the Pakistani side not to test the patience of Afghans on such issues and not repeat the same mistake again otherwise it will have very bad consequences. Said Zaibidullah Mujahid, a spokesperson for the Taliban government. The Pakistani Taliban also issued a statement condemning the attack. We want to tell the Pakistani army that every war has a principle and Pakistan has violated every principle of war up to date, said Muhammad Khurasani, a spokesperson for the Taliban Pakistan. We challenge the Pakistan army to fight us on the battlefield instead of bombing oppressed people and refugees camps, he said. Pakistan has consistently requested Afghan government to protect Pak Afghan border region in recent months Pakistan's foreign office said in a statement they said that terrorists operate freely inside Pakistan utilizing Afghan land this could be invariably the reason for the continuous attacks inside the Afghan territories this is Anjana signing off do like and share this video for further updates subscribe to comedy global